I was conceived in Ioko and grew up there. The summer I graduated from high school, I started working at Imperial Oil, but when I was 18, I volunteered for the Royal Canadian Air Force. Two years later, I came back to do a stint as a cowboy up at Lone Butte, just past 70 Mile. That was the best year of my life. I actually learned how to ride a horse on the old Murray property up in Anmore for 25 cents an hour when I was around 14. When I came back home to Ioko, I brought back four horses, one of which I sold for an engagement ring to marry Betty. Yeah. <laughs> Ivan tells everybody that story. Everybody we know and not know. <laughs> I went back to work for Imperial Oil and bought a house on the Ioko town site where we lived for 10 years. At that time, the Veterans Land Act helped finance a loan specifically for land and building materials. So we thought we should build a house. And I must say, the Veterans Affairs really took care of us then, and even now. We were very good friends with neighbors in Ioko, Norm and Maxine Lejeure. Norm's parents were one of the original pioneers that owned 20 acres along East Road, and they wanted it to subdivide. The only way they could do this was to donate 33 feet along the whole 20 acres at the back of the property and build a public access road. Norm and I took this job on in our spare time and using lots of dynamite. You didn't need a permit to purchase your explosives back then. We could get fuses and sticks of dynamite from the CIL plant, which was on Mod Road. On one particularly big stump, we had to dig under six feet and put the whole case of dynamite in with a seven or eight foot fuse coming out. Then we filled the hole up with dirt. When we lit the fuse, we would yell, fire in the hole, and we would run like hell. The explosion left a giant crater in the ground and the stump would be cut up. We had a lot of big bonfires back then where we could cook wieners and marshmallows and drink hot chocolate with our families. It was a great time. Our children still remember those wonderful days. It took a year to build the road it is now called Hemlock Drive. I would really like it to be called Leisure Lane. <laughs> then I had to prepare the land to build the house. More stumps to get rid of. There was a big one in the place where the front yard is now. And this time it blew all the way over to Norm's property. It landed in his driveway where his car was usually parked. Good thing he went out that day. When I lived in Ioko, I thought I could never find a better place to live. But once our house was built on East Road, I realized this was a great place as well. It was like living in the wilderness. In 50 years, it has sure changed a lot but it still is a beautiful place to live.